Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and welcome to this important episode of Ignition Time. Thank you so much for being a viewer and subscriber. I am here on a Sunday uh, here with our community because I want to make sure you folks know exactly what's going on. I appreciate you being a viewer and subscriber. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider uh, subscribing. Please ignite that notification button so you get instant updates from our channel going forward. Now, here's what's happening. More and more past members of the administration and more and more Republicans, including a Republican governor, have essentially said to the president, hey, <clears throat> what's going on? Let's just, you know, let's just move on because we don't see any evidence with all of the with all of the lawsuits that you're mounting. <clears throat> the former White House National Security Advisor John Bolton today blasted the president for continuing to mount legal challenges in response to the election results. And he basically said that his former boss, President Trump, was creating more and more political damage. Yes, more and more political damage for Republicans. He said, this is what John Bolton said, <clears throat> I think Trump is throwing rocks through windows. I think he's the political equivalent of a street Rioter. These are comments from the former White House National Security Advisor, John Bolton. Now, keep in mind, the president has still refused to concede to his Democratic rival, Joe Biden, and the president has launched numerous legal challenges. And at this point, John Bolton said the president has given up on the legal issues. Yep. He said the president has given up on the legal issues. And he said that Trump's campaign, he pointed out that Trump's campaign has, has essentially lost most of the legal challenges it has brought throughout the country. Now, this is important. This is a very important comment from John Bolton. He said, I think what he's trying to do now is so enough confusion. These are important words. So enough confusion that he can break through what's called the safe harbor provision in the electoral college process. I think he's playing for as much time as he can, hoping that something will happen. He basically said that the president were, didn't, he basically said the president wanted to create enough confusion so something can swing his way. And at one point during the interview when he was asked, hey, does President Trump have a certain strategy? He said, I don't even give the president that much credit. I'm paraphrasing from the CNN interview. And also Bolton said, this is not a legal exercise anymore. As we saw on Friday, when the Michigan legislatures were called to the Oval Office, this is now an exercise of raw political power. That's what John Bolton said. And uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. Uh, many, I, I want our viewers and subscribers to understand that the way our system works is that the electoral college results are certified by individual states. And uh, many states actually have laws that punish or prevent electors from voting against the chosen candidate, against the will of the people. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, <laughs> what's happening right now is unbelievable. Here, speaking of unbelievable, here's a comment from the Maryland governor, Larry Hogan. Keep in mind, he's a Republican, Mr. Hogan. Uh, he said, and I'm quoting him, he was embarrassed that more people in the party are not speaking up against Trump's action to influence electors. And I'm going to quote Larry Hogan now. I think the pressure of the legislatures to try to somehow change the outcome with electors was completely dangerous. We were the most respected country with respect to the elections. And now we are beginning to look like we are a banana republic. My own personal feeling I want our viewers and subscribers to understand is that if this was happening in any other country, this is my personal feeling. Let's say this was happening in a third world country. It would have been possible to essentially bend the process uh, to, you know, to, uh, to a sitting president's will. But we are in the United States of America where, you know, uh, let's hope the processes have a little bit more integrity. And, you know, for listen, I know that, you know, I have viewers and subscribers who are support supporters of the president, who are supporters of Joe Biden. But I can tell you that if judges are throwing out uh, throwing out cases and we're talking Republican judges in red states with Republican governors with former administration officials talking out. If you saw my previous video on our channel today, I've covered comments from Pat Toomey, from Liz Cheney, also from Chris Christie, who basically called President Trump's team a national embarrassment. You know, you'll you can come you can come to your own conclusions, pick your own poison. OK, so um, this is what Hogan said. Uh, Hogan said that there is uh, there is a fear of President Trump because if President Trump sends out a mean tweet or a nasty tweet that can in, that can effectively derail someone from getting re-elected and he said that was a factor in Republicans essentially being too scared to speak up against the president. Now I'm quoting Larry Hogan. We all know how vindictive the president can be, how powerful his Twitter account is and how he can really pressure Republicans and go after them. Very few of us are willing to stand up. Uh, and then he said the number of critics is growing. 
and he said uh, I, and i think there are others that are quietly talking and telling the president the uh, telling the president their advice about what he should do he's just not following any of the advice and i want to be clear both bolton and hogan have expressed confidence that biden will be sworn in on the 20th of uh, january more and more republicans also another article from bloomberg more republicans say it's time for trump to start the transition by the way i'll provide you with a link to all our articles in the in the description section below please take the time to click on those articles and check them out uh north dakota north dakota screamer said uh, there has to be an end to legal wrangling and more and more republican lawmakers are starting to speak out against the president's efforts so here's a comment from republican senator kevin kramer Okay, uh, this is what Kevin Kramer said, and I'm going to quote him now. So this is Kevin Kramer from North Dakota. There has to be an end to President Trump's fight to reverse the outcome of the November third election, and this is what uh, the North Dakota lawmaker said. Uh, said he said it's past time to start a transition, uh, to at least cooperate with the transition. I'd rather have a president who has more than one day to prepare. Pretty strong stuff, guys. Kramer said that he told his staff well over a week ago to cooperate with any transition outreach, and he said we have a government to run. Uh, Senator John Cornyn of Texas tweeted today that Biden should now be getting intelligence briefings, and I did cover what Pat Toomey said as well. Pat Toomey said that Trump has, I quote, exhausted all plausible legal options in Pennsylvania, and that it was time to concede. That was a pretty lengthy statement from Pat Toomey, and uh, keep in mind that uh, the Trump team lost a significant challenge in Pennsylvania and many other states. Uh, keep in mind the Trump campaign has vowed to appeal, and uh, the, the Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey also pointed out that the judge in this case, Matthew Brand, was I quote a longtime conservative Republican, even though he was appointed by President Obama. You know, we all know President Obama is a Democrat, and this is what Brand said. Brand called the legal claims wrought by Trump. I quote a Frankenstein's monster. Yep, yep. The president, the president's claims uh, were called a Frankenstein monster, and uh, the ruling, according to Pat Toomey, by the Pennsylvania judge uh, Brand, uh, follows a series of procedural losses for President Trump's campaign, uh, including, by the way, a hand recount of five million votes in Georgia. That were counted, and then it was, you know, again concluded that Joe Biden was the winner in Georgia. And Toomey also cited Michigan. He said uh, lawmakers rejected the apparent attempt by President Trump to thwart the will of Michigan voters and select an illegitimate slate of electoral college electors. Wow. Okay. Uh, Toomey warned that uh, President Trump's actions now run the risk of overshadowing what the Republican senator described as. Outstanding accomplishments over the past four years, meaning outstanding accomplishments from the administration. And this is what Toomey said. I'm quoting Pat Toomey. Okay, Joe Biden won the 2020 election and will become the 46th president of the United States. I congratulate President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris on their victory. And uh, keep in mind that uh, <laughs> President Trump promptly responded to Toomey, and he said. Senator Pat, no tariffs to me was no friend of mine. And by the way, I covered comments from Liz Cheney of Wyoming, who asked the president to respect the sanctity of the electoral college process. And uh, you know, her comment also got a critical response from the president. Liz Cheney's comments also got a pretty critical response from the president. You can check out the president's Twitter feed if you like. And H.R. McMaster, who is President Trump's former national security adviser, said that the the failure to accept the election results was, I quote, corrosive, and playing into Russia's hands by undermining faith in democracy and U.S. institutions. By the way, Putin from Russia uh, said that uh, he was not going to acknowledge Joe Biden as president yet. He actually said that today, and he said that he would vote for the results to be officially announced or something. I don't pay much attention to what uh, you know, uh, what you know, <laughs> what leaders like that say. And he said something along. I'm paraphrasing. You can look it up. He said something along the lines of the relationship between America and Russia already not doing very well, so it doesn't really matter. So you know, what I can tell you is this: the more infighting that we have, the more foreign leaders go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening in America. So we need to stop the infighting. We need to stop the infighting because we can't give our adversaries, our our enemies, a chance to be able to take advantage of this of this uh, excessive division that exists in our country right now. So. I, I covered what Chris Christie said as well. Chris Christie, the former New Jersey Republican governor and President Trump's friend, said the conduct of the president's legal team had been outrageous and a national embarrassment. He said they allege fraud 
outside the courtroom but when they go inside the courtroom they don't plead fraud and they don't argue fraud this is mind blowing guys in other words what chris christie is saying is they say something to the press but when they are in front of a judge they have no evidence this is important i'm going to repeat this again they allege fraud outside the courtroom but when they go inside the courtroom they don't plead fraud and they don't argue fraud you have an obligation to present the evidence the evidence has not been presented and uh, you know senator mitt romney did issue a strong rebuke i did cover that saying that by pressuring state and local officials to subvert the will of the people and overturn the election it is difficult to imagine a worse more undemocratic action by a sitting president and uh, keep in mind president trump did bring michigan's state republican lawmakers right to the white house in the past 48 hours on friday and uh, you know it's <laughs> it's it's likely that some republicans started to get a little bit more uh, un more uncomfortable with that and uh, i want to be clear most republican lawmakers and office holders including governors have not yet recognized biden as the winner so there is that fact and i did talk about maryland's uh, larry hogan who was one of the exceptions who acknowledged biden and he said son he said today that he was embarrassed that a majority of the party had not followed uh, in his footsteps he said i just don't think there are a lot of profiles in courage frankly and he said we all know how vindictive the president can be and i did mention that earlier on our channel just some mind blowing news let me know what you folks think in the comment section below you'll find a link to all of our resources in the description section below i'm working hard on a sunday to bring you the news my beloved community i really care for you guys i really care i really appreciate you guys hopefully you can see that in the effort here all i ask from you all i ask from you is to please click the like button please ignite the subscribe button and please ignite the notification button that would mean a lot to me my name is dr nitin choda with ignition time i'm so so happy that you took a few minutes out of your precious sunday to spend with me hope hopefully you learned something new please click like please subscribe please enable notifications and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of ignition time take care bye